Okay, so that's all for Ethernet frames. Now let's start the part three overview of Ethernet switch. Actually, Ethernet switch is one of the most important device in our network. So this is a typical architecture of a campus network. So you have a lot of hosts, you have a lot of client and servers, and then you need to use a lot of switch to connect them together. Actually, for switches, they also have several different layer switches. They have the access layer switch, and they have the aggregation layer switch, and also the call layer switch. Okay. Besides all these switch, we also have, for example, the firewall, the routers, and some other servers connected together, and finally to the internet. So this is the uh, typical architecture of campus network. So the switch at different layer will provide different functions. Here we will focus on the layer two uh, switch. So typically this access layer switch. Yeah, so layer two Ethernet switch is here. They can forward data through the Ethernet interface and they can address and forward data only according to the MAC address. So we call it layer two Ethernet switch. Okay, so uh, this is the working principles for switch. Actually, each switch will receive a frame and then they can learn a table and then they can forward the packet to the correct destination. So the frame sent by the host actually looks like this, right? That is a typical Ethernet frame. They have the source MAC address, destination MAC address, and in the payload, they also have the IP address, source and destination IP address, and also payload. And after receiving the frame, the switch will learn the source MAC address of the frame and search for the MAC address table for the destination MAC address. So if they, and then uh, match the destination MAC address to see which outgoing link they should forward to, and then forward to the corresponding interface. So that is the general process. And if we look at the details, actually you can see that the MAC address table is like this, much similar as the routing table in the network layer, right? Here, um, the MAC, MAC address table, write the destination MAC address, and then they give, give you the correct interface. If you want to send the package to this destination, you need to go from this interface. So this is the address table. Actually switch, uh, transmit forward packet according to this address table and check the destination MAC address in the address table. Originally, actually, the address table is empty, and then they will learn the address table automatically. So how does it learn it? The process is like this. The host will transmit a packet, right? And they will have a, a source MAC, destination MAC. And then the switch receive this packet they will the destination MAC address in their address table. But unfortunately, it's empty. It doesn't match the MAC address. So they will simply flooding this packet to all the outgoing links. And meanwhile, they will check the source of the packet and they will put the source of the packet and the corresponding interface where the packet is from into the address table. And then using by adding this entries in the table, the switch can know that next time if I receive a packet destined to this address, I should go send it, forward it from this interface. Then the packet is transmitted uh, to this host and the host will find that, okay, this packet is for me, then I should send a reply of this packet. And then this packet is transmitted again to the switch. And after that, the switch should 
write the corresponding MAC address, source MAC address of this packet. So this address, right, MAC2, and the corresponding interface, the interface 002 into its address table. Because now the switch know that the MAC address 2 it can be reached from this interface 2. After this entry is inserted, actually later on, if there are packets destined to MAC2, it doesn't need to flooding. It can just forward to this host. Then that's all for the uh, MAC address learning on the switch. So by receiving packets and automatically learn the matching relationship through this packet, an address table can be set up and the further packet can be correctly being forwarded 